On my journey as a Clemson finance major, I have gained some form of an understanding in the world of finance. But while studying abroad, I thought it very important to gain an even broader understanding of how the rest of the world does finance. Luckily, I made a friend who has similar goals and several years more experience. I decided to ask some questions that I had, and I brought the camera along to get an interview as required for class. Thus, I killed two birds with one stone. As part of my cultural literacies or CLAM program, I needed to get an interview with somebody. So I thought, Pablo has worked in uh, private banking, so let's go talk to Pablo. Come on. Hey, Pablo. How's it going? Fine. How are you oh, doing? Pretty good today. Pretty good. Do you mind if we have an interview? Oh, of course. All right. Okay, excellent. Pablo, thank you so much for doing this interview with me. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. So, first and most importantly, the most important question. If you had to choose between being able to fly and being able to breathe underwater, which would you choose as a superpower and why? There's no doubt flying. Flying? Yeah. All right. Excellent. Excellent. So tell, tell me why you're pursuing finance. Well, finance, well, it all started when I was like around 16. My father would tell me, tell me to go online and see the difference between the currencies, between the Spanish peseta, because we still didn't have the euro, and the dollar, actually. Mm -hmm. He had some stuff to do with the United States. So because the computer was upstairs, he would tell me, to look at it. And then suddenly like the web page where I had to look at this had other stuff related to finance. Excellent. I ended reading about that. Excellent. So and you're from Spain, yes? Yeah. Tell us tell us about Spain. Tell us about where you came from. Um, well, I come from Madrid. Excellent. Capital of the country. That's where I was born. And But I actually didn't live there much time, only like the first four years of my life. Wow. So. Where have you lived since then? Well, then I went to Barcelona, then I went back to Madrid for a couple of months, and then United States, France, and... Wow. So, now you're in Glasgow, correct? That's it. And you're pursuing a degree in finance, but it's a little bit more than a bachelor's degree. Tell us about that difference. Well, like, it seems that in the United States, you first do your degree, and then you do, like, you choose to do a master or whatever. Yes. But, like, in Spain, like, before you start your degree, you choose to be doing the master's degree. Like, you choose... Before you start, you choose to do five years of studies or three years of studies. So I chose five, so which means master's degree. Excellent. Okay. And you've already had a lot of experience in private banking, correct? Uh, yeah, I've been working in a private bank. Excellent. How old are you? Now I'm 26. 26 years old. So how long, how long did you work with the private bank? Well, this was like six months. Six months. Yeah. Excellent. So tell us about your private bank experience. Well, the private banking experience. Well, it was actually pretty cool. Well, I had this vision of private banking, which is well, private banking is taking care of the rich people's money. All right, it's not like you have the commercial bank and then private banking. The commercial bank would be the one where we would go. Okay. And then rich people that have a lot of money, they deserve to have someone spending a lot of time with their with their money. So that's what in private banking people would do. So actually the experience I was expecting Paul to take care of this money and etc. But then when you get to know the clients, some of them you can tell they're like very proud and um, I don't know, they have very interesting lives but instead you, you go to their houses to speak about their clients and instead of talking about that, you end talking about something completely different. Like, which car is you going to buy? So that's, I was sad. But then there are other clients that are just great. So what aspects of finance are you most passionate about? I guess stock markets. Stock markets? Yeah. Do you think there will be more finance jobs in the future as the recession has kind of put a damper on some finance mm, jobs? No, I think that the finance jobs will be just with a higher quality. Excellent. So, I decided to sit and ponder everything I had been learning in class and from Pablo. Because I think it is always a good idea to make sure that the direction one is going in life is the direction one wishes to go.